Hello, this is probability lesson 1.1. In this, I will discuss probability basics. First definition is what is the probability of event A? This is favorable outcomes divided by total possible equally likely outcomes. This equally likely word is very important. For example, you throw a dice, all outcomes have equally likely possibility to come. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But the condition is that the dice must be a fair dice. When the dice is fair, all options have equal chances of coming. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 have equal chances of coming. Same way you throw a coin. Head and tail have equal chance of coming. The coin is fair coin. Unbiased coin. So probability is favorable outcomes divided by total possible equally likely outcomes. For example, if you throw a dice, if you throw a dice, what is the probability of getting even number? What is the probability of getting an even number? Now probability, you know that this is favorable by total possible outcomes, total possible equally likely outcomes. Favorable outcomes could be how many? Even number, we know that even numbers are 2, 4 and 6. So 3 favorable outcomes. This could be three, it could be two, four, or six. I'm just writing out here. Favorable outcome set would be how much? Two, four, six. Any of these three will come, the event will happen. That is the event will be even number. Total possible outcomes PPO, or you can say the sample space. This is equals to one, two, three, four, five, and six. So total possible outcomes are six. So the probability will be half. That is the probability of event A. What is probability of not happening of event A? Probability of not A. This will be equal to 1 minus probability of A. You can also write like this probability of not A like this probability of A bar is equal to 1 minus probability of A. You can do like this probability of A plus probability of A bar. This will be equal to 1. It means that probability of happening of A and not happening of A. This will always be equal to 1. One. Let me discuss about the total possible outcomes when two coins are two coins are thrown. Total possible outcomes. Can I say this would be head, head, or one coin is thrown twice? This the same thing. Two coins are thrown simultaneously. Or one coin is tossed twice same thing head and head head and tail first tail second head and then tail and tail. these are four possible total outcomes what about three coins can i say two possible out uh, two coins total possible outcomes are four this can be written as two raised to power two when three coins are thrown what could be the total possible outcomes three coins are thrown simultaneously or one coin is thrown thrice the same thing that's why i'm explaining in three coins now in three coins it could be zero head it means old tail one head head tail 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 head tail 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 head only one head is there two heads it could be head head tail tail head 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 tail head two heads or oh, finally you could have three heads all the three coins have head so total cases i have is eight so is there a pattern yes there is a pattern when three coins are thrown total possible outcomes are total possible outcomes are two raised to power three when two possible two coins are thrown total possible outcome are two raised to power two the so same way you can extend this when n coins are thrown or one coin is thrown n times same thing the total possible outcomes tpo total possible outcomes will be 2 raised to power n when five coins are thrown total possible cases will be 2 raised to power 5 when six coins are thrown total possible cases will be 2 raised to power 6 so this is very important till 3 you must know how to uh, make the total possible outcomes you have to make a pattern wise first zero head then one head two head and three head same way when one dice is thrown 
what are the total possible outcomes tpo total possible outcomes or sample space same thing this is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 six possible outcomes are there when two dice are thrown or you can say that one dice is thrown twice how many cases will be there sample space or total possible outcomes will be 36 that is 6 square how so because first dice first dice one can come second dice one can come 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 and 1 6 on first dice one is coming i'm taking and on second dice 1 2 6 can come same way if first dice 2 can come second dice 2 2 1 2 6 3 1 2 3 6 and same way 6 1 2 6 6 36 cases will be there that is 6 square so when two dice are thrown or one dice is thrown twice total possible cases or outcomes will be 36 so same way when n dice are thrown or one dice is thrown n times total possible outcomes would be 2 6 raised to the power n for example if four dice are thrown four dice total possible outcomes will be 6 raised to the power 4 when five dice are thrown total possible outcomes will be 6 raised to the power 5 question also come on cards you must know understand the basic of cards cards total cards are 52 they are divided into four suits four suits four suits this is club spade heart and diamonds each have 13 cards club has 13 cards spade has 13 cards heart has 13 cards and diamond had 13 cards they are called as suits for example let me show you the diagram you can see this diagram in this diagram the first row this first row where there is a marker there is a cursor this first row is of club you can see that club has 13 cards a 2 3 4 5 6 10 and then jack queen and king this is first row is of club second row is of spade again 13 cards third is a heart again 13 cards and fourth is a diamond again 13 cards now you can see that this first row there is a a this a is called as ace this a is called as ace this 2 to 10 are called as number cards this jack queen and king they are called as face cards so let me uh, write for you for in, in club this one is called as ace 2 to 10 there are number cards and 11 means jack 12 means 12th card 11th card is jack 12th card is queen and 13th card is king so each same thing for each and every every suit same for heart spade heart and diamond first card is ace card 2 to 10 are number cards 11th card is jack queen and king this jack queen and king they are also called as face card this jack queen and king they are also called as face cards this combination of this ace jack queen and king they are called as owner cards owner h o n o u r owner cards they are called as owner cards so to summarize 13 13 13 13 13 13 for 52 cards we have divided into four suits club spade heart and diamond so how many aces we have we have aces we have four aces how many jacks we have four how many queens we have four how many kings we have four you can see that in the diagram again there are four kings king of club king of spade king of heart king of diamond same for queen four queens are there four jacks are there number card you can see that two to ten nine number cards 
in each suit so total number card are 36 and four aces are there so four aces four jacks four queen four kings total number cards total number cards are th 9 into 4 36 each suits as nine number cards from 2 to 10 so four suits will have 36 number cards total face cards face cards face cards include jack queen and king we have four jacks four queens four kings so total face cards are 12 total red cards total red cards are 26 total black cards are again 26 next concept is odds in favor odds in favor of an event this is called this is represented as favorable event divided by unfavorable event favorable divided by unfavorable event odds against any event odds against these are unfavorable event divided by favorable outcomes unfavorable favorable outcomes divided by favorable outcomes this is odds against odds in favor means favorable outcomes divided by unfavorable outcomes total outcomes we know how to calculate these are equals to favorable outcomes plus unfavorable outcomes so to, these are the total outcomes for example if i say odds in favor of india win odds in favor of india win versus a match against australia odds in favor of india win versus australia if i say this is equal to 5 is to 7 what it means you have to interpret this in two steps first uh, see what is give, given here this is odds in favor second is odds in favor of what this is india win so india win first right india win odds in favor this is equal to favorable outcomes divided by unfavorable outcomes so the favorable outcomes are 5 unfavorable are 7 india win odds in favor favorable upon unfavorable this is 5 by 7 so what is the probability of india win probability is always favorable by total favorable are 5 total are favorable plus unfavorable this is equal to 5 by 12 so this that will be the probability of india win i will consider one more example of this to make this concept very clear let's say odds against odds against india win versus pakistan is 4 is to 3 what it means first odd against india win so india win odds against odd against means unfavorable upon favorable outcomes unfavorable favorable outcomes are 4 favorable outcomes are 3 so probability of india win what is probability favorable upon total so favorable outcomes of india win are 3 total outcomes favorable plus unfavorable that is 3 plus 4 7 so 3 by 7 will be the probability of india win that is the concept of odds in favor odds against that was all about probability lesson 1.1 probability basics in these two lessons i have discussed all the basic concepts of probability in the next lesson i will start with the questions on probability thank you